Hi all, my name is Sandeep and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to build an AI agent application for shopping recommendations. And for this project, we are going to use one new LLM. You know, there's a lot of talk in the town about this new LLM and it's a new sensation in the world of large language model and also world of uh, generative AI. Yes, you guessed it right. It's DeepSeek R1. We're going to use it in this project. We're going to build one AI agent application for shopping recommendations. So let's, let's get started. It's going to be very interesting and there will be a lot of fun. So please uh, make sure you watch this video till the end. So let's get started. So for this project, as I already mentioned, we are going to build one application with the agent for shopping recommendations. In this project, an app with the AI agent for shopping recommendation, we are going to build using Streamlit in Python with five data. Uh, you know that five data, that is a, I mean, uh, very good framework for building agenting applications. And, you know, it has gained some popularity, five data. And also firecrawl tools. So that is a very good tool, actually, that uh, that is a part of five data, actually. So using firecrawl tools, you can, you know, uh, it will, uh, you know, basically do web searching and get, um, I mean, extract data from various websites through web scrapping. Uh, so that is very quite useful, actually, for web, web crawling, web searching, or and web scrapping also, I mean, so it will scrap the data from, it will visit various websites, scrap the data, get the information, then it will make them in proper format and then pass uh, those data to LLM actually. So that is quite helpful for uh, building agentic applications, fi data, fire crawl tool. And then as I already mentioned, we are going to use this new sensation that is deep sig R1 model, that is open source LLM. Now there are two ways uh, you can run, you know, deep sig uh, R1 model. One is locally, that is through Olama. So with the help of Olama, you can um, pull it locally, install it locally, and then you can uh, run it also locally. But uh, for doing that, you know, you need to have a good uh, amount of uh, RAM memory. Let's say, I mean, 20 GB in the range. If you have that, uh, like at least 20 GB RAM locally in your laptop or desktop, or if you have GPU, then good hardware resource, then you can think of uh, installing it locally and running it locally through Olama. So as you can see, the Olama diam in olama.com and it is available in R1. You can easily install it and you can um, run it also locally, use it locally for your application. And But in my case, you know that my um, laptop, uh, in my laptop actually RAM is around 16 GB and uh, when I try to run it locally, uh, it was a bit slow, so then I decided to use the Grok Cloud. So, you, you know, Grok Cloud also, it is available, DeepSeek R1, Distill Lama uh, 70B. Uh, this model is available. This this one, DeepSeek R1, uh, Distill Lama 70B, as you can see. And uh, as you can see, the tokens per minute limit is 6,000. But tokens per day, it is unlimited. No limit. That is good. The problem is the tokens per limit is 6,000, which is might not be good enough for building good applications, real life uh, some applications. On. So that is why there is a chance that uh, you may encounter some, uh, you know, the token limits exceeded, that kind of errors or issues that. So you have to make sure that you shorten the length of your input text and also outputs as much as possible so that uh, things will be within that uh, token limit, that per minute 6,000. So, um, uh, so it is DeepSeek R1, Distill Lama 70B. Okay. Now I'll just briefly explain what it is. Uh, basically, so this uh, this DeepSeek A1, um, uh, DeepSeek AI, DeepSeek R1, Distill Lama 70B. As you can see, it's a highly efficient language, large language model that leverages knowledge distillation to achieve state of the art performance. So it uses a knowledge distillation to achieve state-of-the-art performance. This model distills the reasoning patterns of large models, larger model into smaller one. 
so this model basically is it distills it distills the reasoning capability reasoning patterns of the large like large but larger models into the smaller one and more agile architecture and resulting in exceptional results on benchmark like as it has mentioned that aime 2024 math 500 and so on so with 70 billion parameters deep seek r1 distill lama 70 we offers a unique balance of accuracy and efficiency so there is a unique balance of accuracy and efficiency in making it making it ideal choice for wide range of natural language processing tasks so the original deep seek r1 that is of around i think if i remember correctly at 671 uh, billion or so but this is a basically some quant quantized version or distilled version of that uh, in the lama framework so it is 70 billion with 70 billion parameters it is a manageable size and moreover we are using it through grok cloud where it is quite fast so there won't be any problem uh, if you build one application uh, i mean through grok cloud so there won't be any problem so now after launching this uh, streamlit application the user uh, needs to specify the product uh, the what product you are going to uh, like you are planning to purchase or something like that the color of the product and specific requirements if you have any is a specific requirements you can mention it suppose let's say uh, for men or for kids or for women something like that so specific requirements specific and then also the budget like 100 dollar 200 dollar whatever you have to mention the product color specific requirement also the budget then you know the users needs to uh, click on the recommend button there is one recommend button they need to click on that and ai agent uh, which we created with fire data with the help of fire crawl tools for web searching and web scraping um, ll and this deep seek llm and also deep seek llm deep seek rl will give you the swapping recommendations with the top 5 uh, top 5 results or top 3 results so based on the users needs so i i first initially tried with the top 5 results then i modified it to top 3 results because i thought that top 3 results would be sufficient for the users and also we can avoid this uh, this very annoying you know this uh, token limit issues etc so i wanted to keep the output shorter so top 3 results would be sufficient so in the recommendation it will also mention the brand price features then e-commerce sites where users can buy uh, this uh, product etc in the shopping recommendations so that's uh, all about this application now i will show you the app in action but before that i'll just show you uh, fire crawl actually in order to use the fire crawl uh, through the fire data what you need to do you need to you know sign up yeah so go to this uh, fire crawl uh, uh, this uh, docs.firecrawl.dev website and then you just uh, sign up and then you will uh, you uh, get one api key free api key from there you know to use that that is very important and you have to put that api key in the in your .env file and of course make sure that you install uh, fire crawl uh, hyphen py uh, using pip actually in your python environment also you have to install the fire data using pip uh, that i'll later i'll walk through the code and i'll explain all these things in details but for now let's uh, launch our application and show you the app in action i think that's what you are waiting for so it's streamly application streamly run and the name of the python file let's run so it will take some time and as you can see swapping recommendations by ai agent and then i added some i created and added some logo here very nice shopping and ai <laughs> so i mean to make it look very nice you know so here you have to specify the product let's say smart watch so smart watch color let's give black and specific requirements let's say for men and budget within 100 dollar so we want some recommendations uh, regarding smart watch and color black for men and then within uh, this 100 dollar so that it will it will like uh, go through all the websites i mean all the shopping websites 
Amazon, Walmart, etc. And then it will uh, look for this product within this budget and with this space, with this uh, user preferences, uh, color, etc. And then it will give us recommendations later. So let's click on recommend button and it will take some time. And when it's going on, I will quickly show you the code, Python code. So it's simple uh, code, uh, just, you know, 60, 70 lines of Python code. And so with that, you are able to build such an interesting application, you know. So you can see first uh, we are importing this uh, agent class from the phi.agent. So you have to install the phi data and the phi.agent. Phi you have to uh, import this agent class. And then after that, phi.tools, uh, firecrawl tool, you have to uh, import firecrawl tools. And then grok, phi.model.grok, you have to import the grok because we are going to use this Deepseek R1 model through grok cloud. And then stream lead also you have to import, then .env. Uh, from dot env import load uh, discover load uh, load dot env so you have the dot env file in your working directory and then you are loading the that uh, all the environment variables uh, for so now there is a function this is the main function that recommend uh, this will do the recommendations product color uh, special feature or this uh, the special users uh, requirements or whatever that you have to pass as an arguments to this function called recommend budget also then here this agent class uh, here uh, we are creating an instance and then we are um, specifying all this name giving a name swapping recommendations then model through Grok Cloud, we are this DeepSig R1 distilled uh, model we are using, Lama 7DB. The instruction here, here we are giving, this is very important. The instructions, you have to uh, like give the instruction in the prompt, you have to give the instruction um, in a very definite manner and very clear and concise way. You are a product recommender agent specializing uh, in finding products that match your user preferences. Search for products only from authentic and trusted e-commerce websites such as Google, Shop, uh, Google Shopping, Amazon, Walmart, etc. Verify that each product recommendation is in stock and available for purchase. Clearly mention the key attributes of each product like price, brand, features, uh, site, also where it can be found, something like that in the attributes, mention everything in the response and then show only uh, top three recommendations concisely. And then here in the tool uh, that, uh, you know, fire call tool we are uh, putting here and then markdown equal to true. You know, if you markdown equal to true, give the markdown equal to true, then it will show the output in a, I mean, uh, very, you know, uh, concise and very nice format actually. And then here the output equal to agent dot run. And then here uh, you have to like say, please find the, this product, given product either with the color, with the given color and color and the given the special feature or the special insta um, requirements and the budget, uh, all these things you have to mention here. And then it will generate the output. And then you have to return the output dot content. And here, here in the main, you know, uh, here, uh, this is our front-end code, ret retain the stream lit. And uh, here first, uh, like, uh, the name of the app, like shopping recommendations by AI. And then um, then we are adding some logo here, st.image, app underscore logo dot jpg. Then uh, we are like specifying all this product uh, color, uh, special feature or user uh, like special requirements, something like the budget, everything here. Uh, so it is uh, streamlit st dot text underscore input. And when you give double star, basically it will uh, make it appear in the bold. So product color, all this will appear in the bold, bold font. So that will look nice. And then here st dot markdown here, uh, uh, we are designing some button here and uh, giving some color like red background and then white. And then here finally the uh, st dot button, recommend button we are adding and then as soon as user will click the button then it will uh, basically call this function, recommend and then pass this um, product color, a special feature, budget, etc. and you will get the results and finally it will display the results over there. st dot success. That's it, it's just, uh, you know, 60 to 70 lines of code. 
now we'll see the results uh, let's see um, so uh, yeah so for we have got the results here and you, as you can see the results here um, are my top three smartwatch recommendation based on your criteria black color for men hundred dollar budget so Fitbit Inspire 3 and price it has it is uh, it has given the price brand um, features and also with like heart rate monitoring sleep tracking all these things and then side the Amazon the next one is Yumi MI band 7 and its price band uh, brand uh, feature and side all these things are also mentioned similarly Jarmin Vivo Fit uh, this one the price is given so 79.99 uh, brand Jarmin uh, features also sleep monitoring water resistant all these things all these features all are given then uh, site is best price, so one can go to uh, these sites and then um, check for this. So these options, uh, it has clearly mentioned these options are within your budget and offer, you know, great uh, functionality for fitness tracking and everyday use. Okay. So you can, uh, if you want to uh, get recommendation, shopping recommendation for other product, you can mention the product name like uh, you want to buy sports shoes. So you write the uh, sports shoes here, then color, give your color like white, specific requirements. It should be comfortable for uh, jogging or running, something like that you can mention the specific requirements. Then the budget also you can uh, uh, mention uh, your budget, put your budget and then click on recommend, that's it. So it will give you recommendations, the, the model name, uh, product names and models, uh, then price, brand, feature, and sites where uh, it can be available etc all these things so uh, as you can see it's pretty useful and a lot of fun is there so you can experiment with this that is all for this app and I hope you liked my video and the content if you like it, please give a thumbs up or like. That would really encourage me to create more such videos in near future. And also please subscribe my channel if you have not done it yet. So I am going to you know, create more such interesting videos in the coming days and then upload them in my YouTube channel. So please uh, subscribe my YouTube channel. Give a like or thumbs up if you like my video and uh, please write your comments and feedback also. I will, I will be very happy to see them or read them. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bye.